happy to give you a copy. Yes. After they've dosed you with radiation, I understand. Sure. I will not say anything else. I will not say anything else. I'll give you a copy. It's okay. Let me give you my card, okay? I understand. They shouldn't do that to anybody. Send me an email and I'll send you a copy of the video, okay? mass grave of alleged pro-Gaddafi soldiers has been discovered in a rebel-controlled area of the country, according to a British newspaper, The Telegraph. The location was swiftly bulldozed after the discovery, suggesting an attempt to cover up the killings. The bodies were reportedly mutilated, adding to recent concerns of human rights abuses by rebels. Such crimes are being swept under the carpet to support NATO's cause in the region, or so says Sukan Chandan, a spokesman for the British civilians for peace in Libya movement. I think really fundamentally there's been a problem um, the way NATO, the NATO nations and their media have related to this, these so-called rebels. I mean, these rebels have been conducting mass lynchings of, of, of black people throughout the first several weeks and months of this crisis. And I raised this directly in press, press conferences and the answer was what? Silence. It wasn't covered in the media before because this does not fit the narrative since the 1999 uh, NATO aggression against Yugoslavia, which was we are conducting these wars not for geopolitical control and domination and monopolization of mineral wealth, uh, but for humanitarian reasons. So how can it fit the narrative that these rebels, which NATO and the NATO countries are supporting, are lynching black people, are conducting all the atrocities they're accusing the Gaddafi side of conducting, but actually the rebels are conducting these things. So it doesn't fit the narrative at all. And the U.S. and China reportedly tangled up in one of the world's hotspots. The Financial Times says two Chinese fighter jets crossed into Taiwanese airspace to pursue a U.S. spy plane back in June. China's planes only turned around when Taiwanese planes were then scrambled. Taiwan's United Daily News says one of the Chinese fighters crossed the middle of the Taiwan Strait, which is widely considered to be the boundary between Taiwan's airspace and that of mainland China. And by the way, this is not yeah. a common occurrence at all. This does not has not happened, or at least we've one not of, heard it's happened in, in decades. One of the most hotly contested pieces of territory in the world and a place where two Rivals right. are poised with the right. U.S. stuck between being an ally to Taiwan or China. It's a very dangerous situation. they've managed to keep military peace for a very long oh, time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Tuesday, July 26, 2011, and I'm Darko. My website is uh, www.ggnonline.com. That's ggnonline.com. Ddarko2012 is my YouTube channel, Global, Go Global Government News Group on Facebook, uh, first up we have here is Gaddafi can't be left in Libya, says International Criminal Court. ICC contradicts William Hayes' suggestion that Muammar Gaddafi could be allowed to remain in Libya under a peace plan. Then next up, NATO airstrike kills seven Libyan civilians. At least seven civilians have been killed in a NATO airstrike east of the capital, uh, says Muammar Gaddafi's regime has announced. All right, next up, we have U.S.-led operation kills four civilians. This is July 25th. At least four Afghan civilians have been killed, and several others have been wounded in a bomb and shooting incident in Afghanistan, NATO says. And it goes on here, and it says, U.S.-led airstrike kills three Afghan civilians on the 26th. At least three Afghan civilians have been killed after U.S.-led forces launched an airstrike in Afghan's eastern province of Kunar. Next up, five Afghan children shot by British forces in helicopter raid. Five Afghan children have been injured, some seriously, in a strike by a British attack helicopter. Said the youngsters were working in a field in Helmand province when they were hit by stray bullets from an Apache gunship, which was targeting the Taliban. And says so here, new U.S. envoy, no rush to leave Afghanistan. New U.S. ambassador to Afghanistan, Ryan Crocker, insists that the U.S. is in, quote, no rush to leave the country, which it has occupied militarily for 10 years. Crocker made the comments on Monday after being sworn in. Uh, says here, U.S. trucking funds 
reach uh, Taliban military-led investigation concludes. I've covered this before. A year-long military-led investigation has con concluded that the U.S. taxpayer money has been indirectly funneled to the Taliban under a $2.16 billion transportation contract that the United States has funded in part to promote Afghan business. And uh, then we have here, uh, NATO admits mistakenly supplying arms and food to the Taliban. This is April of 2008. So they've known this for a while. NATO forces mistakenly supplied food, water, and arms to Taliban forces in southern Afghanistan. And, um, you know, the U.S. Is also uh, pays for the Taliban to not attack their convoys. And then uh, NATO never does. That's why you always see these NATO um, supply trucks uh, basically uh, getting bombed because they're not paying off the Taliban to uh, drive through their Al-Qaeda or Al-Qaeda and Iraq explores new ventures in fundraising drive. List of potential activities to fill empty coffers sounds more like protection rackets and organized crime scams than a jihad. Well, that's because it's, uh, you know, it's like a proxy. It's a proxy organization run by intelligence organizations. So, yeah, that's why it's being run like that. Ex Gitmo, and that's why they have like a, a, a fancy recruiting online um, a website in that it says here ex Gitmo captive recounts uh, lethal torture. It says German Guantanamo detainee uh, Mr. Kurnas has publicly spoken about being subjected to electroshock torture, lethal beatings, and humiliation during his years of unlawful detention. And I was watching a video about the pharaohs and that and uh, Knights Templar and, uh, and uh, basically Switzerland and their real history. It was an interesting set of videos. Uh, but uh, in there, the individual was actually uh, went to prison, and he was uh, subjected to a, a different type of torture called um, O2 uh, T or something like that. And uh, basically, they deprive you of oxygen, let your uh, organs just shut down and kind of cook, and uh, it's really, really bad. And that's what they're doing to people now to torture them, to depriving them of oxygen. It says Turkey mulls hardened stance on Israel. And says Turkey is considering a tough stance on Israel over a refusal by Tel Aviv to apologize for deadly Israeli strike on the Gaza bound aid convoy that uh, killed nine Turkish citizens. Then we have uh, Boko Haram, Israeli agents storm Abu. It says here threats by Haram are not being taken lightly by the ruling People's Democratic Party. It says as it's engaged the services of some Israeli security operatives to provide security at this week's National Executive Committee meeting of the party. Besides carrying out a security audit uh, basically they've also mounted needed security gadgets within the premises including cct cameras at strategic points next up we have israeli prime minister announces drastic reforms to resolve housing crisis and the soaring prices and uh, this is another way they can do it this was uh, what may 2011 israel to demolish seven palestinian homes near uh, bethlehem so there you go Problem fix. UK far right groups come under scrutiny. UK Premier has called for tighter scrutiny of the far right groups amid reports that the UK security forces may not be ready to repel a Norway style uh, government backed attack. Maybe he was acting alone. Maybe he was thinking he was a crusader because he was a, Freem a Freemason. Maybe he thought he was carrying out uh, a, a new crusade as, uh, you know, as a Knights Templar. Uh, but I don't think so. I think that uh, this individual was handled and mentored and groomed. And um, we'll see what uh, what becomes of the whole thing. Pyongyang gears up for military drill in the Yellow Sea. Then lawyer suggests Norway mass murder suspect is insane. So there you go. Said that uh, he believes that his sus that his uh, client is insane, just like Jared Lofner. Uh, Norway killer enters uh, Breivik stepmother in shock at actions of well-behaved boy. That's all the other ones are too, right? Oh, they were so well-behaved. Hmm. And it says uh, his father, who he didn't have a good relationship, and he basically uh, abandoned him, cut him off uh, 10 years prior to this. My son should have taken his own life. And uh, he said he exiled himself. And look at this. Hours before shooting, Jared Lee Lawfer fought with his father and ran a red light. And then a uh, judge finds Jared Lawfer incompetent to stand trial. Next up, judge holds arraignment for Norwegian suspect behind closed doors. Sounds similar. And also, court holds hearing, orders eight weeks' detention for attacker. Norway's terror suspect pleads not guilty. Norway shooter, delusional loner, or far right conspirator. Here we go again with the propaganda. Scotland Yard called in over Bravest claims he met mentor in the UK. Europol asked for information because gunmen wrote of visiting London for a secret far right gathering in 2000. 
2002. Norway Killer, Breivik emailed manifesto to 250 British contacts. Then next up we have Norwegian MI5 had massacre suspect on a list. Did nothing, just like Farak, uh, the Christmas or the Christmas Day bomber. Andrew says he was a patsy. Andrew's bearing Breivik. I'm surprised I wasn't stopped. I wonder why. Second man arrested at Oslo death toll, and so second man arrested. Norway to recognize Palestine. Then Oslo uh, bomb explodes. Norway massacre suspect driven by a crusade. Remember I was talking about that before. Norwegian killer believed he was a member of the Knights Templar. That's why I went through all this in my last videos because I saw what was coming. The Knights Templar, Mexico's newest drug cartel. So there you go. Uh, coincidence? Maybe. Finland to boost web surveillance after Norway attacks. Uh, uh, problem reaction solution here. Analysis. Internet key is the key as Norway battles far right groups who uh, take away uh, censorship and start profiling uh, people who don't like to be ass raped by the globalists. Norwegian attacks reflect emerging terror tendency in West. So there you go. Here it goes, guys. Uh, a peaceful country like Norway. It says here, but clues emerge. More troubling questions about the rise of evolving nature of terror in Western countries. So finishing up here, 100 Fast and Furious weapons linked to crime scenes. More than 100 weapons linked to crime scenes in Mexico were sold under a federal gun tracking program, according to a new congressional report. Remember that Pentagon shooter? He actually, that gun came from uh, a police station that was sold from the police. Uh, now two Murdoch whistleblowers are dead. It says first it was Big George Webley who relayed... Uh, a fear for his life and wound up dead. Now it's Sean Horror to British media whistleblowers to untimely deaths. Perry County mother charged with unlawfully entering school bus to help a son she thought was ill. No joke. Then mother could get more prison time than the drunk driver who killed her. All because what? She faces up to three years in prison and the jaywalking death of her four-year-old son who was struck and then killed as the family crossed a busy street in North Atlanta. Underground church pastors sent to Chinese labor camp. And uh, we have U.S. CERT director leaves abruptly. That's an organization responsible for protecting U.S. against cyber attacks. Steps down abruptly. So big news there. Something we already knew, innocent people's DNA profiles won't be deleted after all, minister admit. But it's not a dilemma for parents because they're against it. It's because they don't have a treatment for the diseases that they're going to find with the blood taken. Thank you.